guys, it is Tristan with Nerd at Newsstand, and we have some awesome news, like truly awesome in the case of JD. Now, what I'm going to show you are a couple court documents, but what I want to talk about just a bit, just a bit first, is the fact that the entirety of this case has been built upon the foundation of the Washington Post op-ed. It was never said whose name was in it, so she thought she had plausible deniability. Well, that apparently has changed. So, we went through all of this. We went through the plausible deniability, the original court case, even the email leaks from the ACLU helping her scheme and kind of scam along the way of what they can say and what she can't say. And it was always never about Jenny, right? We had her former lawyer saying, this isn't about him. Of course it's not about him. It only totally makes sense that it's absolutely about him, but it's not about him. Right, what? okay. So that leads us to today. Regardless of what people like Roberta Kaplan has said, and regardless of what people like Amber herself has said, today we have some court documents that have came out from last week about J.D. and A.H., and specifically the Washington Post op-ed. Now, keep in mind, this wasn't about him. No matter who it was, it wasn't about him. Okay. I want to read this to you verbatim because it wasn't about him. Remember, that's the theme. The facts underlying the two actions were also related in time and space. The op-ed in the Washington Post both addresses Hurt's allegations of domestic, that word, and that word, by J.D. during their relationship, which became public and her filing for divorce and obtaining a DV restraining order in 2016. The publication served readers worldwide, maintaining website accessible for all over the world. But, okay, so, but I, I, I thought we just said it wasn't about him. Oh, so Elaine Badenhop, her current lawyer, just admitted in court documents that the entire time the op-ed was about him. Therefore, that would completely go against their NDA. So now the burden of proof has always fallen on her, but now it's even worse because now that was specifically targeted towards him and that is of course, it's well known, but she denied, denied, denied. Well, unfortunately for her, her lawyer just threw her under the bus, like literally under the bus. And then and, and there's another thing we're going to talk about here. There's another specific word, and I want to go over this with you. An allegation. I, I, I feel like this is dumbing it down, but I'm not doing it for my audience because I know they're awesome. By the way, subscribe. Just saying, just saying. I'm doing it for people who don't understand English. So, a claim or assertion that someone has done something illegal or wrong, typically one made without proof. Let's go back over here just for a second. <laughs> I find this so funny. The op-ed in the Washington Post both addresses her allegations of DV and uh, ABUSE by JD. Again, throwing her under the bus, making it known that it was about JD, and then calling what Amber says allegations. Ladies and gentlemen, it is over. He has won. We can all rejoice. Finally, there's that slip up that JD's team needs. I... Okay, how can you be that dumb? Like, honestly, how can you be that dumb? That has to be one of the worst mess-ups I have ever seen. Now, 
There's a bunch of other stuff in here, but it is notable here also that when they talk about the donation and, you know, we saw a while back, we talked about the email leaks. Well, then A.H. had this paper that said she had 10 years, 10 years to pay it. So she still technically made her donations because it was promised within 10 years. Now... She is saying she received much less money in the divorce settlement when she than she was entitled to under California law. Okay, so we're going to do this again. All right. And then once she is free of litigation and able to pay, she intends to complete those pledges. Again, Elaine throwing her completely under the bus proving that whatever that was that we've seen for the 10 years, and I'll throw it up on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. It's been a while, and there's a lot of moving parts in this case, but proving, proving that that 10 years means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. What he she is trying to do here, and, you know, you do you, Amber, but you are looking very, very crappy for a lot of reasons. She's trying to say, I can't donate to these children until he stops. Make him stop and I'll do it. Make him stop and I'll do it. And nobody in the media, and I mean most, yeah, nobody, pretty much nobody, will criticize her because she is a strong single mom. And she decided to do that all on her her little lonesome there. She is a single parent. We cannot... What? There's no way to get around, and I danced around it before, but you proved it to me over and over again that after messing up so many times, you wanted a distraction. You wanted a PR stunt, and that is so fucking sad. Not for her. Well, it's a new low, but even so, for that child. I pray. They are safely kept. I'm sure she has a nanny or something. But even so, that is the biggest PR stunt. She's proving it by needing a distraction over and over again. But regardless of that distraction, that doesn't matter in a court of law. She's working on public opinion. In a court of law, you lied about your donation. You got caught in another lie about your donation. You got caught in an email scam about your donation. And now you proved you have no time period for that donation, okay? And then we're going to add that to your lawyer just throwing you under the bus, calling what you've done allegations, and also just saying straight point blank that opt-ed was about him. Yeah, you really screwed, screwed the pooch this time. You really messed up, and I fucking love it. Oh. I, I'm not basking in somebody else's misery, but you know what? Sometimes some people deserve it. And really this time, this woman, this manipulation, this insanity deserves it. Anyways, let me know, of course, what you guys think about this. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.